we've balanced our budget in the state of Michigan this century, year after year, by finding some variation on the notion of one-time fixes. Mm -hmm. The political phrase that's used for that is called kicking the can down the road, mm -hmm. rather than solving a problem, find something to let us get by today, and the dealing with the overall problem we'll do later. Right. That problem is uh, uh, a, a structural deficit in budgeting. Mm -hmm. That means we're spending more than we're bringing in. So you find some way to paper that over, mm -hmm. but the rate of spending continues, so the budget hole uh, returns. Mm -hmm. And uh, over uh, the last uh, 10 years, what we've done is we've taken the tobacco settlement money and used that to fill the budget holes. We've taken the rainy day fund and used that to fill budget mm -hmm. holes. We've used uh, uh, federal uh, dollars that uh, uh, have filled budget holes. Mm -hmm. And most recently, we've used uh, the stimulus dollars to mm -hmm. fill budget holes. What that meant uh, last year was that we had somewhere in the neighborhood of a billion and a half dollars worth of, uh, of uh, deficit, mm -hmm. billion and a half dollars worth of spending that wasn't covered by revenues. Mm -hmm. And we used uh, the federal stimulus dollars to allow us to continue to fund things at that level. The federal stimulus dollars will be gone sometime between the first quarter and the second quarter. And so they vary uh, uh, depending upon which part of the budget you're talking about. And that means that uh, uh, the budgets that will be set up commencing in 2011 are it's be 2011 October mm -hmm. through uh, 2012 October uh, will have to be uh, uh, balanced with uh, uh, some sort of reduction mechanism or we'll need to find a new can to kick down the road. Mm -hmm. The Michigan business tax is uh, pretty tough to defend. I, I, I would agree with them. There are problems in that. For example, it has a, a portion of it's called a gross receipts tax. What, what that means is that if you do business and you, and you send out a bill and you get paid, you are taxed on the receipts that you get. So on this first phase of it, it might sound okay. But, but let's say you uh, have a loss leader, that you don't make a profit on something. You're still taxed on it. And that makes then uh, uh, for a, a sort of non-bell-shaped curve uh, in terms of, uh, of profitability of businesses in the state of Michigan. His argument uh, during the uh, uh, campaign was that uh, the Michigan business tax would be changed in something that's easy to compute uh, and uh, less. And his, what he wanted was uh, to get away from uh, uh, the uh, political back and forth that generates a deduction for uh, XYZ Corporation for uh, a particular activity to using the, the federal income tax structure and just taking whatever a business's federal income tax was, take 6% of that, and that's what you pay. It's easy to understand, less accountants involved in it, less money, and since there's, there's more money would remain with the business, we wouldn't be using the gross receipts model that would empower businesses to create more jobs. Well, what's the matter with that? Uh, Currently, the way the Michigan business tax is uh, set up, if you try and analogize it to the model that Snyder would like, it's about 13%. So it's a substantial number. Mm -hmm. If you're going to, to ratchet it to back to 6%, then where's that uh, 8 sixteenths? Mm -hmm. And how much is that? Well, depending upon who you talk to, it's somewhere... Uh, around uh, another billion and a half. So we're no longer talking about a 1.5 mm -hmm. 
billion out of eight billion deficit in the general fund. Mm -hmm. We're now talking about a three out of eight billion deficit in the general mm -hmm. fund. My personal interpretation of that means that there will be some sort of replacement revenue. But uh, what it's going to be, they're not saying, and uh, when are they going to be saying something like that? Uh, my guess is you'd, you'd find out from him in January what that's likely to be. What could he choose yeah. for replacement revenue? Well, he could choose uh, to do it with the sales tax dollars. He could choose to do that with income tax dollars, as long as he stays within the confines of the current structure of our income tax. And, of course, he can do it with the cost of, a, of a permits for various activities and in a, in a variation of the kicking the can down the road, he get one-time money from oil and gas leases. If Snyder reduces the business tax to 6% and says that that's going to create jobs, there is a, a gap between the the loss of money in the state, uh, uh, state of Michigan and the services provided by the state of Michigan and the growth of jobs and the creation of tax revenue uh, by the, the Laffer Curve sort of idea uh, that would replace those lost revenues. Mm -hmm. So that, that issue about our budgeting is going to be a very, very big issue for our people before the job creation that Snyder is talking about ultimately occurs. The method they're going to use is uh, called zero-based budgeting. What zero-based budgeting means is that uh, there's no baseline, there's no, uh, uh, you gave them a, a, a billion dollars this year, and that's their current services number, and we're going to take that billion and look at increasing or decreasing it. You start at zero. And you have to uh, show that uh, whatever you're, you're proposing to do uh, is uh, going to be, uh, uh, it's going to have the, a value associated with it, that leads the people to purchase it. So instead of saying that we're going to be doing cuts, the, uh, the way it's, uh, it's messaged is we're going to be doing purchases. And of course that means if you aren't purchased, well you could call that uh, a cut, mm -hmm. of course it is a cut. But instead the emphasis will be on what do we want to purchase. How do you determine value? It's not as easy in the political world as it is in the corporate world. It's harder to do that when you, you talk about uh, we put uh, 45,000 people in prison and the crime rate is X and we, uh, uh, we're going to let 5,000 out and now the crime rate is uh, X plus Y. What's the value of why? What's the value of being safe in your home? Welfare issues. Uh, uh, where, what is the, the uh, level of uh, a social support that we expect? The uh, a social safety net, if you will. Is it Medicaid uh, a, a health care entitlement? Or is, that, uh, is it not so? Placing the value on those and using those value numbers to add up to the amount of money that we have available to purchase mm -hmm. services is therein is the rub. If the, the reductions that uh, appear to be inevitable here, uh, failing having a new source of revenue, become unacceptable to our people, then the alternative of finding a way to uh, come up with additional revenue will become uh, Germain. Now, I have to tell you that going in, nobody is talking about uh, the replacement revenue. I'm just inferring that. And double nobody is talking about an increase in revenue. So the likelihood that you're going to see uh, in the, in the uh, first six months of next year, which is when a lot of this is going to happen, we should talk about time frame for a moment, that you're going to see an a, a increase in, in uh, in revenue uh, over and above where we 
are today uh, is virtually zero. It is zero. It's been an arbitrary uh, expectation circulating around Lansing for budgets to be delivered to the governor's desk for him to sign this year uh, early in June or for sure before the uh, uh, summer recess in July. Now, if that's going to be the expectation, and he's not going to deliver a budget message till March, then we, we got March, April, May, and June, four months to get this done, when the structure of it is different, the deficit is different, we don't know if there's replacement revenue, I'm guessing, how, how much is that going to be and where are you going to find it? And that's a lot to do in, in four months. We, in, in the Senate, will be having a uh, uh, caucus uh, as a, a Senate group uh, the second week of January. And out of that, there will be, uh, will grow those, those issues. We've steadily ratcheted down the income tax for several years now. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we could, uh, could, could look at that. Uh, uh, of course, I like I like user fees. Um, problem with with user fees is that they they, they prob probably will not generate a lot of revenue. I, I like uh, uh, oil and gas leases uh, in part because of the revenue. But also in part because if these guys are going to buy the leases and they're going to drill for the oil, and there's some jobs associated with that. Well, what are our, our, our services that, uh, that we, we really ought to think about uh, uh, having them considered? Well, I don't see uh, a, a, that a guy who goes down to see a Tigers game, uh, that should be... With, without any taxes, or golfing, or a Lions game, or a Red Wings game, or maybe uh, uh, for our public universities, so if you go to see MSU or the U of M play, that, that ought to be somewhere in the mix here, something that you think about, if, you're, if we're going to go that way. We have, for 10 years, taken every nook and cranny where there was money and taken it out and we couldn't find a nook or a cran or cranny. Then the feds came and helped us out. I don't believe that the Obama people are going to come up with a new stimulus plan. That means then the day of reckoning is here. The bill has come due. In January, February, March, and April of this year, the discussion will be occurring on what we are going to purchase from our government. That's how it's going to be phrased. And that which is not purchased will be left behind. Insofar as the people here in Gratiot County see changes to the ag budget, or reductions in support for uh, uh, MSU extension, the ag experiment, uh, 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 ag, uh, experiment station, those would be, I think, the things that folks here would like to uh, uh, argue about. Uh, advocate for those. Insofar as uh, uh, we see through uh, uh, the Department of, uh, of uh, Environmental Quality, uh, funding uh, that goes to work on uh, uh, the, the wells that uh, we, we've got problems with in uh, St. Louis, uh, that would be something that they would want to talk about. Insofar as we find uh, uh, issues that uh, are corrections oriented, or reductions or corrections. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to be uh, prison closures, but doesn't it come to mind? And the jobs associated with that. All these things for every one of our counties, but in particular for us here in Gratiot County, what do we want to purchase from government? What affects us here in Gratiot County? I think those are examples, but they're as as people come to testify in the hearings that we will be having about the, this budget, they need to make their case that this was important. We want it continued.